Inshallah we talked last night on the reality of energy and I don't know if people got the understanding of that symbolism. But we are as a human being continuously bombarded. So I don't know why it would be hard for someone to believe that they can do that to bigger projects. <laughs> if you can take somebody's and destroy their cellular level and the energy within their being, you don't think that you can do that to larger objects? It's just common sense but it requires the Muslims to wake up and the majority of people who will be following Imam Mahdi won't be Muslims. So it's very unfortunate you can see that because of the way they think and the dogma in which they are locked into. Majority of the channel when we speak in this language of energy it's the non-Muslims that are coming and say, I fully understand what you're talking about. And they don't have a barrier of language and they're understanding all the energies and they're trying to throw in two, three, four comments that go a little bit further. And the Muslims can only say, what is this, this kafir, this, 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 this and cursing. I say, are you crazy? What's wrong with you people? And this Mawlana Shaykh would describe you're like square head, locked in some understanding for when no one knows where you're coming from but you can see clearly what they're doing. They do to insan and to the physicality, you don't think that same understanding is for larger. And the they is about evilness. So from amongst everyone there are good and they will reach to goodness and to guidance. This is not about, oh the Muslims are safe, everyone else is punished. No, we have no idea whom Allah is guiding. The guidance and sincere people whom they have a sincerity within their heart and they're praying in sincerity, they're believing in sincerity, Allah will guide those. Those whom run zawiyas and then are involved in the tariqah, they know. They know that in 30 years of doing dawah the Muslims walk away from these teachings and these realities and, and these understandings of traditional Islam and they give away their Islam and it becomes Western people whom are purchasing it. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Because there has to be a transaction. One has to be giving their faith for another one to be receiving it. Just like energy, there must be a negative energy given but there must be somebody with a positive energy in life that's taking the negative. The equation for Allah must always be balanced. So if anyone understands that Allah keeps the entire equation balanced then we understand the effect of what's happening and the realities of what's happening. Say that Nabi Musa السلام, had such an immense power because of the formula of balance that Nabi Musa's power and who his identity was, was based on what? Pharaoh's killing of all the boys from his nation to find Sayyidina Musa means the immensity of the horrific energy that Pharaoh had put for the slaughtering of male children looking for Musa That he was told by his people one would rise from amongst this nation 
that will come to destroy you and dethrone you. As a result Pharaoh went after all the youth and as a result of that horrific negative energy, the reality of that energy and its positivity for the innocence that was slain, that positivity was given to Sayyidina Musa salam, means he's the manifestation of all the, the goodness of the people whom injustice was put upon them and that's why he was so spiritually powerful. So it means the formula has to remain balanced that as people are giving their faith up somebody else must be taking it. It's not that everybody's just coming to faith, what happened then to all the negativity? But the switch of polarity when the sun would rise from the west which we said spiritually has already happened and west the east represented religion, enlightenment and spirituality and the west represented ignorance and materialism. That shift occurred in which the east became interested in materialism. So what do you see now on all these uh, blings and shows and all those people in the Middle East? The largest consumption of gold is in India. The largest of these shows is in Dubai. How much they spent? 400 billion dollars for a ball. I don't think anyone in the Western world ever spent that kind of money. To show why? To show the hadith of Prophet that you're, you're not Ishraqiyun, that you're in the Maghrib now in which you are the people of religion, China, India, Middle East. This was the bedrock of faith and spirituality. Now that the bedrock of money, gold, possessions means that what they gave and sold, the West has bought it. They're fed up with consumerism, they're tired of all these and they're seeking natural remedies, realities, they're seeking enlightenment. So already the spiritual polar has shifted. Don't you see the corruption in countries that are named after being clean? They have absolutely no cleanliness. These nations in the, in the Eastern world is filled with just corruption and deceit and deception. So we can see that if you think Sayyidina Mahdi is coming for them, they're not going to even believe in that reality. The Sayyidina Mahdi majority of following are going to be from Western people and known uh, Muslim religious people that will come to enlightenment, come to realities and come to the guidance from the oceans of sincerity. We pray that Allah count us amongst them and live with that understanding and that life that keep us to be with intention to be with Sayyidina Mahdi to serve Sayyidina Mahdi and to have good character and good akhlaq inshaAllah. Muhammad al-Mustafa wa Surah Al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.